You said you wanted to talk. What's on your mind? Well, I feel God's been calling me into missions, but I'm not sure when or how. Okay. You know, that missions is a really high calling. Yeah, I've been thinking a lot about foreign missions, but I know so little about it. I just wish I could get a place where I get some hands-on stuff. That would give me a feel for different cultures and perhaps give me Give me some insight into what God has for me in the long term. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's really interesting because I just recently heard about this missions training place and they give you a lot of good biblical teaching and you get to do mission trips at the same time. Well, that sounds interesting. You think I should go? Where is this at anyway? It's in Thailand. Thailand? Isn't that like halfway around the world? Yeah, you know, being located in Thailand, a place he's right in the middle of a foreign culture, it allows you to interact with people of a different language and religion. But, you know, I really don't know too much about it, but I do know where we can get some more information. Here, watch this. Welcome to IGO. Our calling is to provide North American young people with the missions training they need to take the message of Christ into cross-cultural settings. IGO provides two four-month semesters per year, beginning in April and ending in December. Each semester consists of classroom studies, bi-weekly ministry opportunities, mentoring, and ministry trips to take the message of Christ into the 1040 window. Now, here's a look into the life of an IGO student. How do we get the Holy Ghost? You gotta ask for it. That's what the Bible says. Which of you fathers? How many of you are fathers? I didn't think so. Which of you fathers? If your son asks for a fish, Dad, can I have a piece of that fish? Really hungry. Which of you fathers will give him a, a snake? How much more will your Father in Heaven just plain give the Holy Spirit to those who ask Him? So mostly at the family devotion, the problem settles down and uh, <laughs> we forget. So the, that is very good if the family... On Monday and Friday, we have ministry nights. These provide a wide range of opportunities for us to get involved in local ministries here in the city. These are a few of them.
like it's not just teaching them English. We really want to tell them about God. And we really want to show it out the way that we love them. That's what our goal is over here. A couple of things make it work for me is, um, yeah, just having the kids love you back. And one of the things is that if I can give the little girls English, then hopefully they won't end up in prostitution or anything like that. Ransom is a ministry targeting women at risk here in Chiang Mai. Since prayer is so foundational to the work that we do here, we spend most of our time in prayer. We start out with prayer before we head out, and then we head out to the streets and prayer walk, and in the end, we come together for debriefing and praise and worship. We face a lot of darkness when we head out to the red light district, but it's just been incredible to see God's hand at work and just knowing that He has us here for a purpose to reach these women. In the Buddhist monk ministry, we have the opportunity to go into a lot of Buddhist temples. These temples are very dark spiritually and there's a lot of spiritual oppression. We go in and do a lot of prayer walking and also go into monk chats and talk with the Buddhist monks. Our goal in this ministry is to show them Christ's love and light through our life. The mentoring program is designed to stimulate spiritual growth in students' lives. Mentoring includes a weekly prayer meeting, a day of solitude after each term, followed by a day of speaking truth into each other's lives and sharing with the group. Group mentoring days are a lot of fun because we take time away from the routine schedule and do exciting things like visit a woodcarver's village, and rent motorbikes, a pottery shop, and go mini golfing, gardens, and so on. After every term, we go on ministry trips. These trips allow students to get involved in life-changing experiences that develop passion, faith, flexibility, courage, and vision. Some of the things the students get involved with are prayer walking, teaching English, preaching, singing, seminars, and many other things that create a passion for the nations. Bangladesh, Middle East, We're in Malaysia, Burma, Tibet, Cambodia, Nepal, to China, Thailand. We are prayer walking in this city right here. So we're doing lots of games and spending time with them. And we just had lots of fun hanging out and being their friend. God has showed me through this last uh, year here at Igo to trust Him more. And uh, I guess the one, the one thing that really stood out to me and challenged me was uh, the quote by Rick, that we are to be and God is to do. We are human beings, not human doings. And that just showed me that I need to be faithful exactly where I'm at right now and be committed and surrendered to what God will call me in the future. God used the classes and stretching experiences on ministry trips to bring up stuff in my heart that He wanted me to work on. And as He did that, He changed my view of Himself and of myself and other people. And through that, He showed me more of His, his heart for the lost and hurting people and what He wants me to do to reach those people. My time here at Igo has just really given me a passion to, to know God and just to really pursue God. Like, not just knowing as in you know knowing he's there but to actually search for him especially in studies like i never really enjoyed studying but but 
being here, I just really, the more I study about God, the more I study about His plan for us, the more I just want to dig in and learn more about life. God taught me so much while I was at Igo. I think one of the big things He taught me was the power of prayer. Just on ministry nights at the English Center, ministry trips, He just taught me so much that when we pray, He will answer, even if it's not ways we had imagined or what exactly we had in mind. I just say, um, one of the things that Igo did for me was it forced me to come out of that Lancaster County or whatever, just North American numbness you know, materialistic numbness, and it forced me just to come out of that and look at life seriously. Like, my relationship with God, my relationship with people, what I'm doing in life. God talked to me a lot about surrender, just surrendering my rights, um, what I wanted to do with my future. Um, for some reason I had this idea that God was just waiting for me to surrender so He would make me do something I didn't want to do. And I think it was when I was actually in India or Lao that I realized that I want to be where God is. I don't care if that's in some village I don't really want to go to. But I felt His presence in such a real way that I wanted, I realized I'd rather have His blessing in Lao than be back in America in a comfortable lifestyle without it. Um, God has used Igo as a training base in my life just to show me that His heart is for a lot more than just North America. And uh, I've always known that in my head, but coming here and going to different cultures on ministry trips and uh, different classes, studies and so forth just broadens my perspective and gives me a better picture of who God is, of uh, who we are as people in this world and our purpose here. God completely changed my perspective of what I call my life because really it's not my life. God created me and redeemed me for His glory. It's His life. How dare I spend one day of it for myself? What do I have left? 50? 60 years? That's way too short to spend it for anything less than building God's kingdom. The fields are white, there's 
there's work to do before the night, so we'll go into the world, take his love into the world. He is calling you and me. He is calling you and me. Yes, he is calling you and me into the world. Yes, we'll go into the world, take his love into the world. The time is right, the fields are white, there's work to do before the night, so we'll go into the We are humbled and amazed as native Asian leaders repeatedly report to us as one Nepalese brother did when he said, your students are like angels from heaven. I thought all Americans were the same, but I was wrong. As Americans, your students are examples to the world.